Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, today's tutorial. And um, in today's video, I'm going to look at this interesting question that is under work energy and power. And um, this question is very interesting. So now this question, it has been coming almost every year. Uh, and in 2020, it was in an, uh, in an exam as well as 2020, 2022. Okay. So <clears throat> then for test 2, it has been coming just like that. But now I was like, let us try to look into it. Now the question is, the car of Aurora cost starts from rest at A, as shown in the diagram below. If there is no friction at all, or no air resistance, come on guys, the car speed at B is, so we want to find the car speed at point B. Then question 5 is saying, the car speed at C in the diagram of the question 4 above is, so now in short, we are trying to find the speed at B and the speed at C. So basically this is um, make, um, work energy and power, this is conservation of energy. So conservation of energy state that energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but it can be converted from one state to another. Now, one thing I want you to understand is that mechanical, when, whenever we're talking about conservation of energy, you have to look at this. Mechanical energy at point A should be equal to the mechanical energy at point B. Because I want to find at point B. Forget about point C for now. Okay? So mechanical energy is the sum of all the energy. So now, the, the energy that we're talking about here we have the potential energy at point A plus the kinetic energy at point A should be equal to the potential energy at B plus the kinetic energy at point B. Now let us look at this. At point A, they are saying that it started from rest, meaning that the velocity is zero. If the velocity is zero, we do not have the kinetic energy. At point B, H is zero, so we don't have potential energy. Therefore, potential energy at point A should be equal to the kinetic energy at point B. Now potential energy is mgh. Now which h are we talking about? hm should be equal to, this is half mv squared at B. So now at this point I can cancel mass because I can see that I have got mass everywhere. My goal is to find the velocity. I can do times 2 to get rid of the the fraction so that becomes 2 gh a then v at b now squared so since it is squared it is squared then i'm getting the square root now so it's the square root of 2 gh at a that becomes 2 times g is 9.8 um h is um 12 meters so using our calculator, 2, 2 times 9.8 times 12, that becomes 235.2, so it is the square root of 235.2. Now what is the square root of that? That becomes 15.3. Uh, 15.3 meters per second. That's the velocity at that point. But now if you look at um, this carefully, if you look at our answers, which answer is closer to 15? Okay, so if you look at it, then you say C is the correct answer. But it may be I've made mistakes on how to calculate because this is 12. Okay, then G is 9.8, H is 12, what else do we need? That's all. So it is actually 2 times, let me do it, 9.8 times 12. I'm getting 235. So it's 235.2. Yeah, so I don't know how I, I was finding this. But let me put my calculator in normal. Yeah, I put my calculator in normal. Yeah, it's 235. Now the square root of that, yeah, still I'm getting 15.3. So then, this is my answer. So the answer here becomes 14 point or 14 meters per second because that's the one that is near 15. Okay. Now using the same concept, we want to find uh, the speed at point C. 
if you want you can get either the same one mechanical energy at point A should be equal to the mechanical energy at point B or you can say mechanical energy at point B should be equal to the mechanical energy at point C that is going to be the same okay so then if I use that one mechanical energy at point A should be equal to the mechanical energy at point B at point C sorry so that becomes um, that becomes potential energy at point A plus kinetic energy at point kinetic energy at point A is equal to potential energy at point B or at point C sorry plus kinetic energy at point C so I don't expect to have kinetic energy at point A because the velocity is zero it started from rest so that becomes this then this now becomes mgh because I have h at c plus half mv now at c now I square it so what I'm going to do I'll shift this to go to the other side that becomes mgh a minus mghc is equal to half mvc squared I can cancel m everywhere and that becomes I'll, I'll continue from there so that becomes so now at this point I can factor out G if I want so it will be GHA minus HC is equal to half VC squared when you reach at this point I can do times 2 everywhere to get rid of that so that becomes 2G then HA minus minus hc being equal to half oh vc squared now get the square root that becomes in this so 2 times 9.8 ha is 12 minus that becomes 9 so now inside there 12 minus 9 that becomes 3 3 times 2 times 9.8 that becomes 58 <coughs> okay that becomes 58 so the square root of 58 it is 7 point 7.6 7.67 meters per second so then if I look at the answers that I have here I can clearly see that there's no 7.6 so I believe there was an error here now you, you will be able to find the same answer if at all you use mechanical energy at point B and C it will be the same answer what do I mean we still need to find 7.67 so that becomes mechanical energy at point B should be equal to the mechanical now remember we found the speed to be 15.33 meters per second so mechanical energy at point C so here I expect to have only kinetic energy at point B because that's the only energy I'm going to have at point B here both kinetic energy and potential energy so that becomes um, half mv now at b I square it mghc plus half mvc squared I can cancel m then if I do times 2 everywhere or I shift this to go to the other side that becomes half v b squared minus ghc is equal to half vc squared if i do times 2 everywhere to get rid of this that becomes v b squared minus 2 ghc is equal to v c squared i get the square root both sides so v c will be equal to the square root of v b squared minus 2 now I can plug in the values right 
minus 2g like that so if we put the, the values we should be able to get the same answer so that becomes okay so the velocity that we found it was 15.3 right I square it minus 2 times 9.8 then times h is actually 12 or 9 like that so I have 15 point 33 squared minus open brackets 2 times 9.8 times 9 that still becomes 58 so 58.6 the square root of 58.6 so that becomes 7.67 7.655 which is the same as 66 you can say 66 if you want then meters per second so this and this is basically the same so even if I use this or I use the other one now this question there was an error there was no answer for question 5 then this one was supposed to be 15 but then they messed up and they found that so that's the basic idea behind this type of questions okay so I think question 5 was free mark then question 4 they were marking if you if you put C because 15 is closer to 14 is closer to 15 but here we can't say any anything because there is no any number that is closer to 7 here absolute nothing so maybe you go with 13 but still it's not going to make sense okay so that's the basic idea behind this question